at this point the small intestines were swallowing the big intestines have you ever felt this hungry before you're welcome back to our mushroom cooking series so today we are preparing mushroom pancake yes so we had sugar in our kitchen we had some eggs and then <laughs> some oil yes some oil we also use all purpose flour so i will leave the recipe and the measurements in the description box so check on it and then get your measurement with some baking soda i also had a thin milk and some vanilla essence for our pancake with a pinch of salt don't always forget your salt so having all this in my kitchen i was like why should i sit there and let hunger kill me so i invited a ghost to join me cook no measurements just listen to the voice of the ghost whatever they say we do our star ingredients as usual mushrooms and this time we're having dry mushrooms and we wanted to turn it into powder so we blend it convert the dry mushroom into powdered mushrooms so we started by first preparing our mixing bowl then we crack two eggs and then beat them lightly yes beating 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 and i was having a dango salt can you imagine i wasn't having powdered salt so i added this to new salt yes a dango salt into the eggs and come and see me struggling to get the salt melt i have to beat it beat it beat it beat it you, you can't leave it like that when the salt is still <laughs> in so it really took me time to get all the salt dissolved in the egg after that i added my sugar so like i said i was cooking with the gold so it's my ancestors so the measurements in the day I, I, i'll try and give you measurements but i i was very angry the small intestines were swallowing the big ones so i was just adding then i added my tin of milk and then as usual bit 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 so after adding our milk we whisked it until well combined everything was now well combined and the the, the creamy in the surface was looking oh the, the the small intestines were now leaving the big intestines small, small 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 so by this time the salt the sugar was dissolved we added our milk and we whisked it very well to mix it all then i added some small oil yes and then whisked everything to avoid lumps and everything i then added my vanilla essence yes so as usual calculation is with the ghost a small teaspoon yeah a small teaspoon drop then i mixed it all together well then i sieved my flour separately and added the baking powder to the flour then i added the flour to my liquid mixture right now so i added one cup of the flour and then mix it all together then finally added the mushrooms and i keep stirring until the butter is smooth and evening mix so i wasn't having a non-stick pan but I, I i have a saucepan i use in frying my things at home so i added a little oil and then over a low medium heat and then i fetch some of the mixed pancake into the oil and then allow it to cook at one side then i flipped it over to cook at the other side and then remove it out of the fire so it's quite easy once the pot is hot you pour a ladder full or the size that you want of the butter into the oil in the saucepan and then you slightly spread it into a round shape 
and then you cook the pancake for about two to three minutes on one side until bubbles form on the surface and then the edge starts to sit so you carefully flip the pancake using a spatula and cook for an additional one to two minutes until golden browned and cooked through repeat the process with the remaining butter raising the saucepan as needed at this point the mushroom pancake is ready do you need a direction to my house or oh, you use the recipe <laughs> <laughs> but you're welcome to my house you're always welcome to my house yes so my pancake was ready and ready for consumption yes so i served it with a little honey on it yes and then i enjoyed like i enjoy i enjoy with some fruit juice <laughs> I'm chewing. I'm chewing in my house. <laughs> it's not chewing. I'm chilling in my house. Thank you. And see you in our next recipe. Happy cooking.